Yes. Uh, all right. Oh, ready then? Use yours? Yeah, use mine. Test. This sounds better. It's my Test, test. Does it go? go in the audience. So you and Michelle, walk around with questions. All right, so welcome to Time Lord Fest. <laughs> Once again, an apology for the bad line at the beginning of the morning. I'll keep apologizing. I feel terrible. Our badges, which I found out at 6 in the morning, are currently in Jacksonville. <laughs> so... Uh, registration had no idea what to do. I've been driving around trying to find anything. So you have like Time Lord Fest 2013 badges, buttons that don't quite make sense, stickers, things for my van. Those are your badges. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Like David Tennant's tears. So just letting you know, I love you all. The line, I know it was hot. Florida's very warm. Forgive me. So mea culpa, mea culpa. Um, I now would like to introduce yeah. the ever lovely, the ever brilliant, Mel. the ever willing to threaten the Time Lord, <laughs> Nina Toussaint White. Uh, <laughs> is this all working? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah? Cool. Hi, how are you doing? Woo! I love you too, I guess. <laughs> Right. Okay. Right. Got it. Anyway, how how is everyone? I don't know what's going on. Thank you all for turning up. It's lovely to see you all. I'm shy, so talk about what happens now. Well, um, did you get the YouTube link I sent you last night? No, I wasn't there by then. Were you sleepy? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> how much of the episode do you truly recall? I, I recall quite a lot of the episode because I just did a con in um, LI, LI Who in New York, so sometimes I forget what happened, so you might need to remind me of the episode that I was actually in. Anyone want to help? Okay, go. Hayley. Uh, you were in Let's Kill Hitler. Well, I know that. Okay, what else? <laughs> what? I'm a lousy shot. He's a lousy shot and I am. Yeah. Alright. Uh, that wasn't fair. Um, okay, go on, give me something. What else did I do? Did you play the dog before the Titanic and every disaster in history? Is that not fair? <laughs> no? Well, um, um, you, oh. did, you, did you scold your teachers in school when they're stupid? In real life. In Nina, yeah, yeah. In Nina? Nina was a lot like. Younger males. Uh -oh. well, so we'll have like like Nina on the show and Nina IRL. Yes. 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 That's Thank in you. real life for those who are not around on the interwebs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know what they meant right now. Got it. <laughs> I'll teach you so much about you the youth will. culture. I'm learning so much already. I know. Thanks. She's been so fun. Like uh, when you showed up showed up with uh, her friend, we um, went out for sushi and we there's this all you can eat sushi place and. Apparently that you don't have all you can eat sushi places over in England. No, I've never been to one, no. So it, yeah, it blew my mind. I was a bit scared though, because if you don't eat the food, they do something to you, so Yeah, yeah, they charge you like a fee for not eating your food. So like order all the sushi you like, but if you don't eat it all, we'll charge you money. I'm like, oh. I'm so full. I went home. I Were you show. okay? <laughs> I, I, Why did you take me there? Because I ate too much. Um, we, we, we did think that. You were like ordering more and we were like, yeah, we were I, just going to I lost some water weight that night. That's all right. Yeah, so. We're just having a private little chat here. I'm yeah. sorry about this. So, so, uh, so uh, in that, uh, I love the scenes in the episode when you're in high school. Yeah. And you're in like pigtails. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, like I say, it just reminded me of when I was younger. IRL? IRL, 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 Nina was yeah. a bit, a bit cheeky like younger males. So. LOL. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, so it was just nice. I was just recreating what I used to be like. It's just a bit naughty, I guess. Just fun. <laughs> He's talking now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what should I talk about? What? I would say, what? I would say for you, what is it to do? To 
do the show. If you have a question, by the way, raise your hand, and both our wonderful assistants, Michelle and Remington, will bring the mic to you. I was talking here because you were talking. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Diana. I was lost, actually. No, I'm, just, I'm just letting you people know, because... If you keep talking over there, then I'm not going to know what to do. I'm going to have to run the show, and then people will ask questions out of... Are you telling me what to do I now? I think I am. <laughs> Wow, I, I, I feel like I'm in a relationship again. This is great. Yeah. So, like, in six months, you'll never talk to me again. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, right now, you're, like, telling me what to do, and I'm just inviting by it, and you'll hate me soon. Probably. We're getting there. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I love She blocked me on Facebook. She totally did. I'm not on Facebook. Okay, so um, a question. So uh, go around to the questions, and uh, you see as appropriate, uh, go to them. <laughs> Michelle, why don't you go towards the back more, the backy questions. What's it like working with Matt Smith? You gotta know. Um, it was, yeah, he's, he's all right, isn't he? Um, it was, it's amazing. He's like really friendly and welcomes everyone in. You think like someone of his caliber it, it would be a bit no, rude. Um, so I'm trying to watch my words. Um, would be a bit, um, you know, rude, a bit up himself. But actually, he was just amazing. Like, so yeah, so down to earth and just really nice to everyone, even the people who like, just every single person who was involved in Dot Who, not just the actors. So yeah, oh, okay. and he's nice to look at, which is great, isn't it? <laughs> So, win, the, win. was the line improvised about him being good looking, or was that in the script? Honestly, it was in the script, but I didn't mind saying it. Oh, really? Truth in the acting. Now, what happens on Doctor Who stays on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have another question. Uh, who, who's it coming from? Uh, Michelle or Remington? Who, who, who's, who's doing it? Michelle? Okay, who do you have back there? Um, hi, I'm Tatiana Amelia. Oh, hi, I love your name. Thank you, it's very, very nice meeting you. You too. Um, I love the show, I'm a big fan. I'm wondering, if you ever find yourself like in real life and you're distressed, mm. are you ever like, Doctor? <laughs> no, but I'll be doing that now. <laughs> Uh, but she, she probably does it for, she has like a broken leg, she might do that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, like, doctor, and, and then like, if a Time Lord appeared, like, I kind of, I have, like, we were like, well, this is really cool, you're a doctor, but my leg's decapitated. <laughs> like, I don't have a leg right now. Really like, can the size screwdriver do that, or? Can can the, it, I'm a cricket. Uh, I don't, I don't know. They might write it in, it's fiction. Yeah. Yeah, they'll do it. Uh, stolen, thank you, yeah. I will. Yeah. Next time. So, uh, another question. Uh, Remington, the next one's you. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Hi, nice to meet you. You said you loved me, so I'm happy. Oh, hi! <laughs> loved you. Okay, anyways. Um, I just want to know what the whole experience was like, because it's just your character, you look like you have so much fun, and I mean, like, I just, I love this show, and I just want to be on it, honestly. <laughs> Hook me up! Hook I'm, me up. Trying, what, I'm trying to hook myself back up, you know, I'd, I'd like to go back. Um, no, it, it was amazing, it was, it, it, you know, it's an iconic program, so finding out I got the job was mind-blowing. I always cry when I get a new acting job, so I cried even more. And then, like, on the show, just being in the TARDIS and pressing things, and it, it just blew my mind. It really blew my mind, so... Popularity as an actor grew because the show has felt so popular and it's been on for so long. Oh, it did with you lot. Like, <laughs> so, okay. Ooh, cookies. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah, so that. I think I've answered you. Have I answered you? This, this is why you have an assistant. They bring cookies. Yeah, so. Okay, who's next? Uh, Michelle, who are you calling on? I'm uh, Jonathan. Did, did you get to meet up with Alex Kingston to collaborate on the, like, the How Young Mel's with... Did, no, this is, so, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about Doctor Who. I'm being honest, I like to be honest. Okay, and so I didn't really know what was going on for quite a while, and I filmed he, f he travels in a blue box. No, listen. He regenerates. It's just a, this is an important question. It, it's from Wales. <laughs> I was in Wales when I filmed it. I'm just letting you know. Right, so I filmed 
the, I filmed everything in the uh, in Hitler's office uh, after I'd been in the you know in the in the, the, t the TARDIS. I filmed everything first, and then everything in the uh, cornfield I filmed months months later because the corn hadn't grown yet. And so when I was in the um, Hitler's office, I actually had no idea who River Song was or anything like that. I'm sorry to be honest, but I didn't. And I didn't really know how to play her. I then met her and I got loads of tips and understanding. It was actually her daughter who um, explained this, the plot to me. So I think that the beginning of the episode is better than the end because I then worked out how Alex plays River. I don't, I don't know about Does that you. Make I, sense? Thought, I thought it was a waste. 14 minutes of you? Yeah, I, I, I think I so think too. you need a spinoff. I, I would have wanted, like, I, I would be totally okay if I had the early years of Mel's, of you being rambunctious in, in school. Uh, I love it. The adventures, like, obviously you got in trouble a lot. We want to know what the trouble was. But this is the thing. Every time I'm at a con, I'm like, people, write in. Let's see if we can get it happening. Everybody here, I don't know how we write, but look up the BBC and let's just flood their Facebook page and email them and write them. Amazing. And let's try to get her her on show. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay, well, um, who's the next question? Right there, okay. Yeah. Jose? Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? So we think about the new document. What do I think? Yeah. I like him. <laughs> have you actually seen any of the episodes? Yeah. You haven't, have you? Oh, and um, can you say the line? Um, yeah. what do I yeah. which, which line? Oh, let's do it. Yeah, what the hell? Just what the hell? <laughs> let's kill Hitler. Gun in my hand. My boyfriend's at the back laughing at me and I feel really embarrassed. <laughs> and by the way, um, she is, right after this panel, signing autographs. So uh, if you want to get her autograph, you don't want to go up front of the line, we can come, I come up and do a credit card sale here or we can go up front and do cash. So um, she would love to meet all of you. We have uh, lots of photos. We have some trading cards and the event photos. Uh, event posters, we have love and should love take a, take a piece of River Song home with you. Mel's. Mel's. Mel's River Song. Whatever, you're River Song. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, you're my favorite River Song. Thank you. Aww. Aww. Trying to get back in my good books. <laughs> we have a very weird dynamic. We do. Yeah. <laughs> well, right now she's like going like scratching like this. <laughs> yeah, doing the, like, oh, I'm just scratching my face. I actually wasn't doing that. <laughs> Oh man, I, I feel crunchy. I got chewed on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Michelle's got the next one. Yes. Hi, I'm Jay Allen. I'm a huge fan. So I'm really excited. What's that to sign here. say? Hold oh, on. Nice. What's the sign say? It says "Time Lords Unite Yesterday." Sick. <laughs> You're half Time Lord, just so you know. I knew that. I know. Okay. Um, my question was, um, what was it like? Not only working with Karen Gillian, but also learning that you were playing her daughter and her best friend. Confusing. Um, well, didn't you know her beforehand? No, yeah. So we, I, Karen actually went to um, my drama school uh, for the first is three years of my drama school, and she was in the year below me for a couple of months. So I kind of knew her and saw her at some parties. So it was, when I got on set, I felt cool um, with that. Um, but what was the next bit? What did you say? What was it like learning that you were playing? Yeah, I didn't. Like I said, I didn't get it for quite a while. I didn't understand the story because you do a read around the table before you actually go on set. You do a thing called a read through, and I'm still because it says your character and then says your lines, and then I turn into River Song, and I'm like. I started speaking River Song's part because she wasn't actually there at the read through. Does that make sense? Yeah. I was very confused <laughs> through the whole thing. And then one day I'm sitting there with Alex Kingston's daughter, who's 10 years old, and she tells me everything, and I, I, it still doesn't make sense. Well, for all of us that watch the show, a lot of it doesn't make sense. No. Uh, yeah, we, we all need postgraduate degrees to understand a yeah. lot of Doctor Who. 
Yeah, so you were in one of the most popular series. Raise your hand if series six is your favorite. Yeah. Well, raise your hand to make her feel better. See, they love you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all about self-esteem. It really is. Ego, ego boost. Woo! So, uh, one thing I was surprised with is, um, please do not take this the wrong way, or, or your friends. Be careful. But, okay. Um, in person, I thought the screen didn't do you justice. You are so beautiful. I could not believe oh. when I picked you from the airport. Isn't she stunning? Thank you so she is much. Absolutely stunning. So the camera loves you. In person, everyone loves you. Oh, I see what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what's the next question? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is confusing, I'm still trying to like say it, but how did it feel in real life that you were the one to hook up Rory and Amy? With the, with the, uh, How's it, yeah, you were their daughter, but you helped them get together, get together and, because then, and they named you after yourself. Yeah. And also, 2016, The Adventures of Melissa. Please, BBC. Yes, hey, apparently BBC were watching, that might have worked. No, well, I, I think um, um, it's amazing because obviously Rory and, and Amy getting together is an incredible thing and it was all down to me just teasing them without them realising because they loved each other forever and I helped, so that's good. That's my answer. So... <laughs> Any more questions? Oh, stop texting. I'm, getting, I'm getting text questions for you, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of people are really nervous here, and way too many people have my number, so they're texting me questions. Right, okay. I have this private number that doesn't quite private, uh, so I'm getting, like, IMs of people online saying, like, I don't want to raise my hand, so I'm getting oh, things. It's sweet. It's sweet. But I'm just texting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, You're I'm, I'm totally bored. <laughs> yeah. you just, look, people want to talk. Okay, so uh, who's going next? Michelle? Okay, who do you have back there, hon? Um, did you always exist? Because before River was in the show, before mm -hmm. we were admitted she was the daughter, were you always the best friend, or did you just kind of pop into existence in their lives and be right there memories? No, I was always their best friend. Always. From very young. Five? Yeah, I was always their best friend. <laughs> Okay, uh, Remington, you're next. Okay, two questions. One, my question, and my dad's question. Okay. Uh, first one, what was the name of the all you can sushi place? <laughs> oh, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, um, Sockies, it's on Dale Mabry. It's really good. Yeah, make sure you take your Nexium before you go, though. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's, it's an antacid. Okay. If I had taken that, I would have had a better night. Yeah. <laughs> and on a um, more personal note, what's your favorite football team? I mean, British football, but American football. Uh, my soccer, yeah. Um, I... My favorite... What? No, I know this is bad, because I only really watch it when England play, but, and I've never been to a football match, which is really bad, but my boyfriend's at the back, back over there, and he's going to take me to an Exeter City um, football match. So, Exeter City for him. That's it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, Michelle, uh, you're next, finding a question. So, being a celebrity yourself, do you look up to any other celebrity? Mm, yes. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I do. <laughs> there um, is no celebrity other than Nina. I'm not even a celebrity, I'm working at the call center. Um, um, Who inspired you, perhaps on TV or movies, to go into acting, at least? Honestly, I feel so bad saying this, I wasn't inspired it was like a natural progression of life and I just did like acting to keep me a bit tamer and it was fun 
and it was one of the only things I could do at the time. And then a natural progression was to go to drama school, and then when you come out of drama school, you get an agent, and I kind of fell into it, and now I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Well, I, I, but, I'm a musician. I've had a wild life. Uh, have you had your wild oats in your life? Have you done some crazy things? I was, I was just excitable. When you're I was excitable. Saying, you know, I was younger, let's say that. Yeah, yeah. you're just rambunctious. You're rambunctious. I, I believe this is whenever I saw you on uh, Let's Kill Hitler, um, uh, I think a lot of that rebellion, I don't think you were acting. No, she's a lot like Nina. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were just saying words. And it was like, like you were a great actress. I, I, like, I've seen you in Death in Paradise. You're fantastic. Thank you. But uh, Let's Kill Hitler, like, yeah, she'll, she'd shoot me. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I know, I'd never shoot anyone. Don't, I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't. I'd just be a bit like she, cheeky. Yeah, she's, she's only threatened me five times today. <laughs> Okay, actually, this young lady in the scarf right here mm. has gone to every single Time Lord Fest I think we've ever cool. had. But she's gone to more than anybody I know of. Can we ask a question from her? What's your name? Hi, I'm Kristen. Hello, darling. It's just been the last four Time Lord Fest. How many have they been? Um, in Tampa, five. Oh, well, well done. That's good. That's great. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know, you've had a regeneration scene. Uh, what was that like? <laughs> I decided it was painful. <laughs> um, another thing, so obviously, you know, not knowing much as much as you guys do, I kind of like researched the regeneration stuff and I watched all the doctors doing it. Um, this thing on YouTube and you just got to see all the different regenerations and it looks painful. You're, cha you're changing, aren't you? And something else, your bones change and stuff. So it was painful in my head. Okay, um, so uh, Michelle, you had the last question, or did Remington drive the last question? Who asked? The, who passed the mic last? You did. Okay, Remington signed in here. So um, pick somebody. I, I I got two of my best friends to come in here and help us. I, two of my, they're like two of my best friends. What is your favorite part of the um, episode that you're in? Favorite part? Yeah. Sorry. What the hell? Let's kill Hitler when they turn around. <laughs> I enjoyed when you you uh, shot the TARDIS, and, and he said, and you go like, I thought you said it was a state of temporal grace, and he says, it was a clever lie. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. I you called his bluff. I of course it is. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next question. Um, remember the questions, we only have uh, like an hour long panel, we got 30 minutes left, so your questions oh, don't have like... Yeah, so we don't have like, uh, like, like, don't hey, hey, like, I have a question in 13 parts in a story I want to tell about my puppy whenever he got shot with a bow and arrow. And it was really sad, but if you were River Song as a puppy, what would it be like? So, like, quick questions are, are better, even though I do want to know the answer to that. So, go. <laughs> okay, so I was watching Let's Kill Hitler yesterday, right. and probably the funniest part is when Amy calls Rory gay. Right. What was going through your head as an actor when Amy calls him that, and just seeing their faces, were you trying to like contain your laughter, or was it just like you were just, what were you I was thinking? like, I can see that, yeah, no, <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, Arthur really is masculine, though. Oh, well, yeah, he yeah, is, he completely. Really is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what? Honestly, then I think I'm on the bed playing with a TARDIS. See, I've watched it. Um, and I remember, I'm not very good with props. So I was holding it going, how? And they were just like, at casual, you know, just play with it. And I'm like, I need to remember my lines and play with the TARDIS and chuck it up in the air. And so that was, I wasn't really listening to them really, to be Did you break the TARDIS? Uh, did I break it? Did I break it? I might not. Did I? No, but no. Matt actually, he's he, he has a reputation. He, I think he's gone through over 20 sonic screwdrivers because he keeps of breaking them. He's very. Yes. Moves around a lot. Thank you for my card. But this Haley here, we went for dinner yesterday and I got a birthday card off her because my birthday in a week, five days, four days, 29th. So I got a card. Thank you, Haley. Wasn't she a perfect and fantastic choice, a unique choice to be the headliner for Time Lord Fest? This is great. Thank you. Okay, um, who's next? Excellent, honey. Okay, next question. Um, I'm Claudia. 
And I was wondering, if you had the chance to work with any celebrity, what, who would you pick? Ken Spivey. <laughs> I think you should be in the new Star Wars. Um, actually, I saw that they were auditioning for that. I think you'd be a pretty good uh, But they sip. picked the girl out of Bell, didn't they? So, have you seen Monty Bell? Yeah, they're making like 30 of them. I think, you, yeah, I think you'd make like a really good Sith. Would you like to hold a lightsaber and be evil? Or do you yeah. want to be a good guy? Anything, just give me a job, I'll do it. <laughs> like, if you need, need your car cleaned later, you know. I, I actually am trying to raise more money to get away so, from... Okay, yeah, in anyway, let's carry on. Where are you going after this? You're going somewhere fun, aren't We're you? We're going to Jamaica tomorrow. Because I'm turning 30, and so I'm going to go and celebrate and pretend that it's not happening. You're not turning 30. I am turning 30. Oh my gosh, I thought you were like 22. No, are you joking? No. You are, uh, looky lying for your face. No, I, that's why, like, whatever you all got in the, uh, in, the, in the rental car that I don't know the name of, I asked your ages and I went, really? Yeah. I went like, I thought like, oh, I gotta really watch them. She's really young and... and no. Uh, so, and you said your age, I went, oh, never mind. <laughs> like, yeah. they're, they're quite competent adults. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to ask a question, please. Oh my goodness! Okay. Are you joking? <laughs> Hello. I'm crashing your panel. Come here. How are you? Okay. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm good. Like, your panel. I'm all right. Good. Uh, I've got to go, out. so I came to say goodbye, folks. Oh. I've got to. I've got to get a plane. So thank you so much for having me. I just wanted to say, brilliant to see you. Isn't she great? Ken. Yeah. No, uh, oh. Yeah, talk to us. <laughs> she said talk to you. Ah, uh, this is happening. Yeah. Okay, well. There's talking that needs to be done. Okay, I can hold the panel for a bit. So oh. she wants to talk to me right now? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. But I also want to say thank you and goodbye. So thank you very much. Everybody, I've been left on my own. Um, so let's do more. No, let's do some more questions, shall we? Because I don't know what to talk about. Who's going to get the questions? There we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're gorgeous. Hello. What's your name? Come right here, so I can see you. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Kira. Hi, Kira. Have you got a question? Go on then. Who's your favorite doctor? Matt Smith, obviously. <laughs> Who's yours? Yes. High five. Oh, so sweet. More questions, more questions. Hello. <laughs> What do you think about uh, when uh, Roy and uh, Amy um, die? Oh, uh, my parents are devastated. I was really sad. <laughs> They're also my best friends. So sad. Yeah, okay. Do you remember the, when uh, they went to the cemetery? And yeah. You see, uh, Roy was on the, on the grave. And, yeah. And they, you know, and the, um, the, um, the wimpy uh, angel angels come in there and uh, touch Amy. And they you know, and she joined uh, Roy. Yeah. I mean, for Mel's, and for me, I guess, because I am Mel's, it was really sad because, you know, they're, yeah, yeah, they're my parents and my best friends, and I would not be here if it weren't for them. So, <laughs> right, thank you. Hello. <laughs> Anyone else got a question? Hi. Who's that? What's your name? Look, what's your name? Hello, my love. I'm Nina. Nice to meet you. Do you want a question? You like Roger and Matt? What? What? He said, did you 
like working with Matt? I loved working with Matt. It was the best because he's the best doctor. Is he your best doctor? Yes. Oh wow. Hey May, how old are you? Six. Woo. Do you like shouting? <laughs> are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. ah. <laughs> Wicked. Um, come and high five me as well. So get some. Come on. Come in. Oh. Just get up. Just have a hug. And a hug. He's a gentleman. Any, any, any more questions? <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, do you ever see Alex Kingston down the street and just like stare down at her? <laughs> no. What do you mean? I'm better than you. I've never seen that. No, no, I'd never do that. I mean, literally, the only time I met her was on on um, set doing Doctor Who. So I've never seen her since then. I would never. She's brilliant. Oh no, no, I wouldn't. Next question. Anyone? Please. Hello, my love. Um, how long do you think Doctor Who will um, continue on? I think forever. <laughs> I was thinking when I get older, I would want it to be like maybe a girl doctor or maybe something. It needs to happen, right? <laughs> Wicked. What's your name? Alex. Alex, do it, mate. Do it for the ladies. Yeah, two of them. These people pick. Hi! Um, I'm a bit curious. Who do you like the most? Matt, Matt Smith or Peter Gagbardi? Matt Smith. Always Matt Smith. So, yeah, Matt Smith. Because Mel's was in love with him, I think. Uh, Tumbleweed. Next question. Um, over here, if I may. Ooh, yeah. hi. Yes, hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, sort of a, like, like actor, you know, movie business kind of a question here. Um, if you could form like a perfect story, like a perfect role for you to like star in, what kind of like like movie or story would it be? Like, it, would it be a drama? Would it be like a comedy? Like, what's your like, number one thing you want to? I do? think like at home, the things that I do, they they. They, I'm not funny, but they tend to go down the funny, like, BBC comedy slant. And I'd like to do something a bit more meaty and dramatic and edgy, maybe kill someone. I don't know. <laughs> Just a bit more dark, I think. Because I do a lot of, like, hello, and jumping around and looking like an idiot. It's a little more dramatic, a little more serious. Yeah, no one takes me seriously. It's quite depressing. Well, obviously, everyone here does. We love you. Oh, thank you! That was really good. Thank you. Hello? Hi. Where am I looking? Hi, mate. Um, I was wondering if you can tell us anything about a, your next project, what you're working on now. <laughs> I'm going to Jamaica. Uh, yeah, professionally, I've just finished a play, um, literally a couple of months ago. It's called The Etienne Sisters, and I was singing in it. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen next. I've got an audition, which I've got to send off to the agent this weekend. If I get that, that will be another play, touring around England in the winter, and I'm not sure I'm going to like it. A Raisin in the Sun? Yeah, yeah. Do you know it? Oh! See, no one else knows it when at home, but yeah. Because it was made into a film, apparently. Um, so that would be great. But it's like acting like that or like that, and when you're in a job, it's great, and when you're out of it, you become a yoga teacher. So, yeah. 
Hello. Oh, it's Kindle. Hello. Um, I just <laughs> kind of weird, but um, was Hitler nice? Yeah, he's really nice. <laughs> he actually was lovely. And what we always, what I think is quite funny is like he, we, Rory put him in the cupboard, and he never came out. So we don't know where he is or what's going on with him. So yeah, he was he was lovely actually. He shot you too. Yeah, uh, yeah. maybe not so lovely. Any more for any more? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, I saw you earlier. Yeah. Hi again. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I wanted to know if you got any uh, funny moments you could share, like blooper kind of thing. I wish I did. I get this all the time. D d d no. <laughs> All the time I was like, oh, I was just so nervous that actually wasn't that funny. It was just like me being nervous a lot of the time. Um, I could say like working with them three is great to watch. They're a bit odd together in a good way. They roll around the floor a lot and do weird things. So I guess they've known each other for such a long time it's felt really comfortable. But I was really like, <sighs> you know, it's a big show and yeah. Sorry, I should make some stuff up and like, yeah, I'm not like that, I can't, nothing happened, funny. Sorry. Next. I wonder where Ken is. Anyone? Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Um, how many times do you think you've messed up on set? Oh, loads. All the time. That's a good thing about doing things for TV, you just do it wrong and then they say cut and you do it again ten times. Um, it was alright, it, was, it I wasn't too bad in that. I did once a, a programme called, called Holby City and it took me 21 times to get it right. It was like, and they were like, this is the longest we've ever done one scene. That was quite depressing. Um, I, was, I was okay at Doctor Who. But they, oh, there's, there's, I, I don't know if they've got the bloopers, there, there's so many mistakes you make. It's, yeah, it's a weird job. What's your name? Natasha. Hi Natasha, thank you for the question. Does anyone know where my biscuits went? <laughs> there was two. Oh, here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to eat while we talk, because I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> Any more questions? Uh, all right. Um, so I have like a two-part question. Is um, first of all, how did you audition for the role? Okay. Um, what was the process? Um, can we three part? Um, Shall we that one up? Experience in um, TV versus plays. Okay. And um, what was it like? Um, being like when you were working on set, what was it like? Okay, so first question. Um, it was a, getting the job for Doctor Who was a lot like most jobs, except it was a faster pace. So you get a call from your agent and they say, You've got this audition, you know, in a couple of days. But this time they were like, You've got this audition in two hours. So I had to learn the script really, I had to leave work and learn the script really quickly. And then within a couple of days, I found out I had the job and I was whisked up to Wales and we did a read through. It was just very fast paced. But that generally happens when you get an acting job in TV. Your second question was what? What was your second question? You haven't got a microphone anymore, have you? Um, and theatre versus TV. Um, so I've done so much more TV than I have theatre and I love them both. The thing I like about TV is that the script changes all the time. Um, um, and yeah, yeah, you get to play different people all the time. With plays, that was something that I get a bit tired of, like playing the same thing over and over and over again. But the process is so more fulfilling because you get to work with the same people, you you make friends, you can work for a script because the director gives you time rather than on TV where they're like, in, out, shoot this, go. So you learn more in theatre, I think. And then the last question, 
working on Doctor Who was just magical because it's so iconic and because, yeah, I just was in awe all the time of everyone and everything and the TARDIS and the people and the, it was just a bit daunting but fun. Is that all of it? Sorry, I'm, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hello. Um, hi. Uh, what do you think of David Tennant? Would you ever consider working with him? <laughs> yes, I would. Um, yeah, if I got to choose, I would definitely work with him, but that, that's not how acting works, and they just... Yeah, I've never even met him. Um, I'd love to work with David Tennant, um, and I think he's a wonderful actor. Um, a funny actor. I loved his doctor, but I favour my doctor, Matt, because I was with him, obviously. Um, any more for any more? Ellaby. At any time, did you think that you weren't going to get the role because of like, how stressful it might have been? Um, no, no, I mean, like, I found out do you know the reason why I think I got the role? Because I had a headshot, which is the picture that you put out for all your jobs. And my hair is like this, but it's kind of really, really curly to the side. And I was just looking down at the down the lens, and it looks a bit catty. And I think that's what Alex Kingston actually looks like. You know, do, do you know what I mean? So my photo for acting looked a lot like her at the time. And so I didn't really think I wasn't going to get the job. I was like. It kind of, like I say, Mel's is a lot like Nina in the way she's kind of like ah, and all over the place and, and cheeky. So I kind of thought I'd get it, which is good. You don't get that about most jobs, but that one I was like, yeah, I got this. Also, because I smashed your juicer and I was just so good at it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Good. Yeah. Who? Anyone? Oh, are you, you talking? Hello? You have a question? No? Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hello. Hi. Um, of all of the monsters in the Doctor Who universe, who are you most afraid of? The Daleks. Is that a monster? And why? Just because I, I remember when I was like four, and I think Sophie was the assistant at the time, I used to just be really scared. And like my dad used to have it on, I used to look over the sofa. And that's why I never got into it, because it freaked me out. And since then they have all these crazy creatures, like those, those ones in silent, they're awful, don't they? So, yeah, them now, but the Daleks, the Daleks would be the, the biggest fear at first, yeah. Is Kate singing? Who's singing now? Kate? Are you joking? Right. I just don't really know what else to do. Oh, he's back. Wow. Hello. I thought you were singing then. I was like, what? No, Sophie was leaving, and I want to have her sign my guitar. Ah, uh, okay. Sign mine right now, too. If you want. Would you like her to sign my guitar? Yeah! Here. I thought you'd left to sing on the stage. I was a little bit worried. Yeah, no, I know. Um, but we've been having a great old chat. So, you're in good company? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for looking after me, because I got a bit worried then. I don't really know what to do with myself.
Come on, guys. It's not a problem. Oh, please. Good. Um, Good. Well, we're well, just going around asking questions. Are we still doing that? Yeah, for those people at the back, should we ask these people? This girl in a checkered skirt, black top. It looks like we have about um, 20 minutes left. 20 minutes? We're going to go over a little bit because it uh, actually ends at uh, 3.30. We're going to go over about 20 minutes. Are we? Would you want another 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. All right, you've got to swear. Who here has not gotten an autograph yet? Woo All right. D do you want to sign them for them? Don't I'd you want love to sign your autographs. Do you want to meet all of them personally? Yeah, like personally would be better. So, so if, if so, one you, one one you can come on up and I can do it with a credit card and I'll just give you a, a form, a little ticket, or uh, you can pay cash up front. But it's it, it's all the money. Um, helps both the charity and helps Nina. Helps me. She's going to Jamaica. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Dungeon Falls, everyone's saying that. Anything else? Give me more tips, ma'am. Don't check the tour guide, just follow them up. That way you can kind of hang out in your own little place and then just follow them up. But then we've got a video of this really funny tour guide, so I might have to do it just because we laugh. Okay, it's beautiful, you love it. Go to Bush Garden. Where? Where? Bush Garden. Bush Garden. Here. Bush okay. Garden. Well, let's, see. let's see. Um, do you remember any of your other lines from the episode? Um... I don't, uh, I don't... You better hurry, they're leaving. <laughs> Where are they going? They're just tired of you now. <laughs> they're like another 20 minutes, like, screw that. I know, what? That's actually what's happened. Um, something about dress size. Ah, dress size, uh... I'm trying to concentrate on the dress size. Yeah, what? I'm trying to concentrate on the dress size. Oh, shut up, Dan. I'm trying to concentrate on the dress size. That was so sweet of you. That's me regenerating. You, you, you were the first person ever to make a video. Did you all, guys all see the video she made saying she was walking uh, excited about Time Lord Fest? We posted yeah. the Facebook page. Wasn't yeah. it cool that she did that? Yeah. Welcome. Well, let, let, let's brainstorm real quick. How would the if we can't get a TV show? You might want to talk to Sophie. I bet you can get some Big Finish stuff. I love Big Finish stuff. Who listens to Big Finish? Uh, not a lot of people. B well, Big Finish is where classic series stuff and the new series adventures, like Alex Kingston, The War Doctor is going to do some audio dramas that are new adventures, and they just got the license to do the new series. So you might be able to get uh, uh, Rory and Amy and her having some of their crazy adventures when they're younger, and them not quite understanding why you are so good at certain things. Yep. I could see that as a couple of seasons, can I you? I love it. Yeah, so I love this idea for Big Finish. I'm going to write to them, so yeah. I know them at, well, I don't really know them, but well, yeah. Well, you know somebody who works with them now. I do, there we go. There you go. There we go. I'll, I'll write them all if you like. Yes, please. I, I don't, I, they wouldn't be very good if I wrote them. Okay, don't write them. Um, I, I, I'm going to warn you that we do play a song later called uh, The River Song at the show. Ah! Have you, did you listen to it on YouTube? I haven't listened to anything on YouTube yet. I'll play it for you later. You have to decide whether or not, because there are actual lines that River Song says during it, that are said during the song. Go on, in, give me one. Um, hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. And, um, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a thing to wear. I'm not saying that. You're not saying that? Okay, we'll have our girl singer do that, but if you wanted to add some your lines on top of her lines and her river song lines, add your Mel lines on top of it. Would you like to do that? What are you talking about while you're singing? Yeah. Ah. I'll play you the song, you'll get it. Would you, ah. but, 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 peer pressure, peer pressure. Would you like to see her sit in with the band? No, 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 no. She said no. I'll watch, I no. get nervous, I can't No, do she that. can't do that. Someone else can do that, though. For me, pretend to be Mel's. Who's got Mel's costume? Is anybody Mel's cosplaying? No. Well, yeah, yeah, well, it's, yeah, River Song, Mel's. She looks well, more like well, River Song. Will you at least uh, come up on stage and say goodbye to everybody during the closing ceremonies? Yeah, of course I will. Okay. I'm just saying about singing. Well, it's not really singing. I'll play for you. It's talking. Okay. Do you talk good? Not very well, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not put me in the spot. 
you're so nervous right now. She's so adorable. She was like by far the best guest I could think of. And actually, I'm thinking about doing, I didn't tell you this, a Time Lord Fest in another part, a state. Okay, where would that state be? I'm not sure yet, but uh, would you be interested if you enjoyed this, if I held this somewhere else to be our guest again? If everyone's as nice as this, and I will go again. When of is course. everyone going to come? Yeah, so Wonderful. like if we did some, maybe one in Gainesville or something, would where you guys travel to come and see her again? I don't know where that is. Maryland? There's a lot of places we're looking at, and I think you might be a fantastic new guest for this. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Sounds awesome. It does, really. You're so funny. I just thought of it, actually. <laughs> okay, ah, uh, it might not happen. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, I am expanding, so... Uh, okay, yeah. wicked. Yeah. So, it's more work. More work? Yeah. Well, um, do you have any more questions? You this back here? This girl here. Uh, hello. Hello. My question was, okay. um, while you were on the cast, um, what was like your favorite alien creature that you discovered? Like, what was your favorite one? I don't know if it was a favorite. Silence wasn't their favorite, but it looked the most. So, the Weeping Angels are pretty cool. Um, yeah, the Weeping Angels. The Weeping Angels, definitely, without a doubt. Would you like to be in an episode with Weeping Angels? I'd love that. I'd love it. Do you not have to look at them, are you? Or something? Well, if you look at them, then you're safe. As soon as you look away, they can kill you. Okay, you are safe. Yeah, that. The Weeping Angels. So it's like a, re <laughs> it's like a really good date. Eye contact matters. Oh, I, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. So Weeping Angels really are just really matter, high yeah. maintenance first dates. What? That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> So, do we have many more questions? Oh, well, we have enough time for one more. Oh, I really want this girl, these two at the back as well, though, because really they want like these two at the back. Have we had their hair? Look, Bixby, two girls. And okay, no those two. That he, she's choosing. Ages. Uh, we're doing those. Very, very, very quick questions. Whoa! I was wondering, what was your first actual acting experience? My first, uh, professionally, uh, was. My first audition, so I very, felt very proud of that, and it was in a, a, a program called Casualty, which is a hospital program, and I was in a, a ghetto rap band with my boyfriend and his brother, and I cheated on my boyfriend with his brother and became pregnant and had an ectopic pregnancy. You are males. That's uh, what happened. So that happened on the show? On the show. Oh, okay, I thought you were like, really, really wild. And then you find out that, um, I cheated on my boyfriend. Oh, that was it. It was bad. Hello. And I started like, yeah, it was awful. Well, awful. that all actually has happened to me. So. What, you've had a topic? What? I had, well, it's kind of the male version. Appendix. Yeah. With uh, my appendix. <laughs> I, I met a girl, I had my appendix removed. It was weird. <laughs> okay, the next one. Appendix. What? Tell me something about Hi. Hello. Doctor and companion, Peter and Jenna. The companion? And the doctor. Um, and the doctor, just together as a, um, I, I, I think it works. I, I think, I think, when he was announced as a doctor, I think, I thought, tickety-boo, that actually, it fits very well. And I think it's quite nice that he's gone older again. I think that works. Does it not work? Yeah. And, um, Jenna just seems sweet. I don't know, yes. They get on well? Do they get on well? Yeah. But then it works. Yeah, I know why would I haven't seen it. <laughs> She's really easy on the eyes, so <laughs> sorry. I really have a really good question. We have like two minutes, so it better be great or else I'll judge you. Have the opportunity to play in a Doctor Who again, to, to right. be part of Doctor Who in the future. Do you think that you will go back and watch the series? <laughs> so that you know, That's a lot of work. Back, That's or come that. back and do another Time Lord Fest. You think you'll look at it? On? He honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Can I? I'm gonna be honest. He told me that that's the right thing to do. <laughs> But why pretend and pretend to be someone that I'm not? Just watch a few of them. But then, 
but then, look, but like my 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 argument is is that I'm I'm, I'm talking to you as, as as Nina and Mel's, and I know about my part, but she didn't. That, you know that I just feel like she like you don't want like you don't know because I don't know I haven't seen I haven't she's, seen she's the too new busy trying episode. to come back to the series and yeah well, well, well like they don't care whether or not you know about the show when they hire like, you like I'm here as as, as as me as well and I was just getting the yeah she's so. not just Mel's this is Nina we're getting yeah I love her I love her but yeah I tolerate her <laughs> probably <laughs> no <laughs> Keep it real. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna All right. Me. So if you would like her autograph, you're gonna be autographing right after this. And if you want to have a card, you can come up right now and uh, pay for that at this very moment. It'll be a lot faster. I'm not sure if you noticed. Registration is a little slower now that I'm not up there. So if you want to buy an autograph, they're twenty five dollars. And coming up with a card. Thank you so much, everyone. It was really lovely to meet you all. You're all beautiful. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to Time Fest. We really appreciate it.